How's it going, guys? So, out here, um, haven't done hardly anything to this. Um, just been focusing on other things. Um, pretty much, I did get the window put back together and all that. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, got some stuff going on in the back here. So, um, let's just go ahead and fill you guys in. The last video you guys saw, um, I took it to the show and the window um, seal let loose. So, um, basically got it glued back in, taped down real good. Hopefully it holds for a while, but um, obviously windows cracked it already. So, it'll be getting replaced. It's just trying to uh, make it work for now. But uh, got that put back together. The amp situation started uh, getting the ball rolling there. Um, still haven't done much at all with the subs, so, uh, trying to do it in stages a little bit, but we'll see. So, I'll start up here with this window. Um, now you're obviously not going to be able to tell too much what I've done, but basically, um, the hash, little, uh, hashes of Gorilla Tape, pretty much did that all the way around, um, on the bottom as well, and then I went back over it. Um, with a couple of just full strips make it look a little better um, passenger side literally looks just like this so the whole windshield is glued and taped in now like I said hopefully it holds um, the crack is not bad at all you can see a little bit of it on camera and it just shoots up so I'm not really worried about that at all um, I was able to stop it before it broke all the way so good there um, like I said, hopefully it'll hold. It seems pretty solid, honestly, but we'll see. Um, I don't, honestly, I've already broke quite a few of them, so I'm not holding my breath. And as you can see back here, I pretty much no more amps, so, um, get you guys a little better view. So... A lot of you guys know um, the C-Max obviously was behind the amps. You could see pretty much from here up before, but now you can see how actually everything is. We got a little bit of room on the bottom for the ground wires to swoop in and out. Um, I just, I honestly don't know if I'm going to keep everything like this. Um, obviously these, a lot of these wires here are just thrown in here right now. A lot of them will be coming out. Um, all these here will be coming out. I'll be doing instead of basically, um, for four amps as this is, you know, um, basically each sub is going to be having their own amp. So I'll be taking this out. I got a bunch of these little, um, distro blocks. So I'll be swapping them in, um, going through pop testing each sub, figuring out which is which, which I believe they are labeled yeah we got sub four and so on sub six so yeah they're pretty much labeled i just got to go through and figure out which ground matches which obviously it's a matter of these three which match this three you know it's super easy but um i don't really know what all is gonna stay the same back here um if i keep the c max back here it's pretty much just gonna be the exact same um, minus the sub stuff, um, all the amps will be here. So wiring for the positives, which are super long. They should be plenty long. Um, and don't worry, nothing has fuses. So I do have socks and stuff on everything and taped up, but nothing's alive anyway. But, uh, pretty much I got like all of these here are just all grounds with dual inputs already on them. All these are all grounds, dual inputs on them. So, literally all these here grounds. Um, pretty much all these here grounds. There's four that are positives there. The rest of the positives are back there. So, pretty much all wired up. I believe I'll have enough wire um, with the new amps. We'll see. Even doing dual inputs. But, like I said, we'll see. It's uh, going to be a while. But... I just wanted to update you guys and uh, kind of show you what we're uh, working with. So 
like I've said a million times, I really want this to be underneath the car, but um, it's just going to be such a big project. I'm not 100% sure um, if it's even honestly possible with the way the box is and stuff. I really don't want to cut into the enclosure at all. So we'll see. I got to do some more measuring and uh, just some figuring out and see if we can get this thing underneath and obviously retain the mid setup under here would be nice but obviously it's all mounted to the frame and everything so that thing has been in here for years super solid um so i'm going to do something really similar to that just in case this whole thing obviously um get it out of the weather and all that so we'll see um i'm going to get some measurements and Kind of clean this up some more um here shortly and basically just see what we can do so i'd love to get this moved underneath so literally you open this up and this will just all be a big hole i'm um, all trimmed out and stuff obviously but you could see the c-max under there and then uh obviously wires would be coming up all the amps on the back wall um i just feel like that would be a lot a lot cleaner um and mainly i could uh, do like a plexiglass cover once everything's done and have actual room back here um everything is so tight with when i get the amps in i'm pretty much out of room so i'm trying to just get a little bit more room so i can add some more stuff uh hint hint potentially a little stunt wall up there but uh we'll see don't know about cutting all this and all that we'll get into that at a later date but the main goal i really want to try to do something on the lift gate eventually but i've never been able to with all the amps back here because obviously once you shut it you don't have the room so anyways i know a lot of talking on this video but i just wanted to update you guys since i took the amps out um got the window fixed um temporarily so um, I'm honestly not sure what the next video is going to be looking like. Um, potentially working on some stuff back here. Not 100% sure. Um, haven't ordered my new amps yet. Um, there's definitely probably going to be another month or so out at least until I order those. But uh, yeah, I'm not really in a hurry. So get this thing put back together right. Um, honestly, the enclosure. You guys have seen it is good so get some good subs um what's not saying these aren't good but they're just they need to be reconed minimum so get some subs recones whatever happens there get some big power i have a good electrical system on this so we should be good i think honestly um get back to uh demoing the way i used to and uh get back into the lanes a little bit so I uh, really want to get into that, so we'll see. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned for the next update. Like I said, hopefully something to do with the amps or something, but we'll see. Still got the transmission cooler to install. Still got a bunch of stuff to install. It's just finding time to do it um, without it being freezing out here. Haven't got the heater set up out here yet, so um, that's honestly pretty much the last thing I'm working on right now. I got everything else, so. Get the heater stuff going out here and we'll be good. So appreciate it, guys. Have a good one.